Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today here we're back on NBA 2K20. We will be on my league again because I just made a lot of my career videos. So I'm taking a break from my career for a while. I'm gonna do some my league and my team. My career videos will probably be out next week. Probably not this week though. So let's go ahead and start the mode. The team will be rebuilding today. He's been at the bottom of the league for quite a while. We will be rebuilding. Wait a minute. The Phoenix Suns. Of course, we ha we just have to. We got to get Devin Booker some help because he really needs it. Coming here. And everything's on manual. I'm just going to load the 2020 draft class real quick. And honestly, right now, our goal is to be, this is a development year. So in two years, we don't want to really be like, have a lot of, having a lot of money. So two year one year deals are fine. Two year deals are also fine. This guy, wait, uh, Aiton has, oh, he has two year team deal, or three year team deal. That's, that, or two year team, yeah. Two year team option. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna keep, the only two people who are safe right now actually are DeAndre Aiton and Devin Booker. Everybody else probably will be traded. Bridges might be safe for the first few years. And Cameron Johnson and Ty Jerome. The young guys. Because this team has a lot of youth. So the first trade will be trying to get rid of that youth. Like Ricky Rubio. Probably going to get rid of him. Frank Kaminsky. Tyler Johnson. These two. Don't want them here anymore. Aaron Baines. I don't really care. But yeah. Probably going to look for a really good young point guard or just um start Devin Booker at point guard. Because I really want to trade Rubio. So, if we could get a nice, good, young point guard. This one looks nice. We get Dante Exum and Ed Davis. Might do that. But we also have to give up Chuck Diallo. Hold up, I'll be right back. So I really want to do this one, but get rid of check, put in instead. Oh, wait, yeah, Aaron Baines. No, two more, two million more dollars. So I can't do this because oh yeah. Um. So Frank Kaminsky. They would still need a little more. So, one million dollars. Javon Carter. Oh, wait a minute. So, for this trade, th they would get too much now. So, just one million dollars, literally. Uh, Jeff Green. No, no, they don't want to do that. Uh,. Oh, wait, because, okay, okay, I see, okay, so, how about you give us, like, not Jeff Green, Royce O'Neal, and we give you, who's our smallest contract, Javon, okay, yep, okay, yeah, I'm not doing that, because I don't really want to give away, um, Chick Diallo, so, the only other trade that I really liked was this one, we just get a first in Courtney Lee. Why not? Um, so now, don't really want to keep Courtney Lee. So I'm going to see if I can trade him away. Um, where is he? Courtney Lee. Wait, what the heck? Where did he go? Okay. I am blind. Apparently he was down here. Okay. Um, if there's just a, a good young point guard, or even a first. I'd take a first round pick for Courtney Lee. There's Dante Exum. I might do that. 
That one also looks ten. Oh wait, he's twenty nine years old. Never mind. Um, Norman Powell, Dennis Schroeder. Oh wait, then we have to give him first. Dennis Schroeder doesn't look too bad. Does he have a player option though? Yeah, he doesn't have a player option. So, but I'm kind of liking the one that the um. I think I might just go with this one. Or should I go with Norman Powell? Norman Powell because we don't have a give of a second. So yeah. There we go. I guess D book is gonna play point guard for us and yeah. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I don't really want Tyler Johnson playing point guard for us. I kind of want to trade him, but not yet. So I'm going to go here. There's this young to old meter. I'm going to turn it to young, make it young, all the way down to a 20. And then I'm going to do this. Boom. Ty Jerome. They have Ty Jerome starting. Then Devin Booker. I kind of want Mikhail Bridges to start, though. So Mikhail Bridges starting at shooting guard. Um, Devin Booker starting at Booker. I'm gonna take away his meds, put it to him, and also Johnson. Get to go a few of those, put them to him, and Diallo can get more meds. Kind of want Norman Powell to get minutes instead of Tyler Johnson. So now our shooting guard and center positions are good, and our small forward and Point guard positions are under, so that, um, yeah, we, actually, you know what, I'm going to change, let me go to here, going to change one of our bench shooting guards to a small forward, yeah, Norm Powell, or, yeah, that, he's the only option, so yeah, Norm Powell, change to a shooting guard, Goes up and overall. So I see your rotation. Um, young old. I'm gonna turn it down to 15. Yeah. So they have Ty Jerome, D book, and so they have it like this. I don't know about that. Kinda want Norman Powell getting this. Oh wait, but then we don't have a bench point guard. So. Don't want Tyra Johnson getting mids. So I probably. I kind of want. Like, I kind of wish I did that Dante Axon trade now. So you know what? I'm going to do something very stupid. Make it an 11 man rotation. This is the development year, so. Our players need time to develop. So. That means that we still have a backup point guard. And Norman Powell is also getting mids. Cameron Johnson, okay. So you know what? Cam Johnson, you can get mids. I don't really want... Uh, or... Okay, so I'm in a tough spot. I'm just gonna do this. But at the same time, okay. You know what? Sorry, but a power four position is already good. Cameron Johnson. Wait! Aaron Baines is getting this. He doesn't need minutes. I'll give those minutes to Cameron Johnson. Yeah, but not too many. So he gets 10 minutes. So this is taking a long, longer time than I thought. I might cut some of this out just to get... Cuz. And... Jalen the Q. Why not get minutes? Yeah, J... What's... What's? Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. He can get five minutes, at least. At least, yeah. I'm just gonna go over here. Have to see your rotation. D book's still getting missed. This is an 11 man rotation. I don't know how I. A 12 man rotation, sorry. Don't know how I feel about this exactly. 
but um hopefully it works Jalen okay Aaron Baines and you take away your minutes I don't want you getting minutes neither Tyler Johnson still needs to get a few minutes cuz yeah he's yeah Tyler Johnson gonna give some of those minutes to D-Book some to D Aiton and the rest can go to Jalen McHugh yeah that's what I'm gonna do actually you know what no um take some tears from Manly I'm gonna give those to Aaron Baines then I'm gonna go here send Jalen McHugh to the G League it only makes sense and I also send Okobo there and that's it yeah the rest of the guys can actually play in the roster. Okay. So. Now I'll. Now I. Now I don't exactly need a 12 man rotation. So. Make it back to 11 man rotation. And. There we go. I kind of want Bridges getting a little more miso. So yeah. I'm probably getting this out of the video. Just so you know. If, wait, who am I talking to then? Because this is probably going to be cut out of the video. I don't know. But anyways, Baines, I'm sorry, but you're not getting minutes. You are not getting minutes. Uh, Ten minutes for you. I'll give you 12 minutes. Okay, and I'll give the extra minutes. No. I'll give the extra minutes to um, Booker, Aiton, and just other guys who who can get extra minutes. Uh, Ty Jerome, and one more minute. I'm just going to give it to Cameron Jones. Okay, that took a long time, but in the end it worked. Balanced, eesh. Grit and grind, eesh. Pace and space, ish. Pernocentric, ish. Postcentric, it's not as bad. Triangle, ish. Seven seconds, eh. We're a young lineup, so I think I'm just gonna keep it with, um. Seven seconds works. So I'm gonna keep it with seven seconds, okay? Last thing, gonna go to staff, head coach, you suck, so I'm firing you. Sorry, but um, we need a better balance coach. Trent Peterson, he's always there, I don't know why. But anyways, um, do we, I'm just gonna make sure, do we still have our first round pick? Yes, we have it for the next two years. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We have... No, for the next three years. So that's fine. So let's just get straight into the season. See you guys at the end of the season. Unless I just make any trades. What we're looking for right now is more losses. So, yeah. See you guys at the end of the season. So it's close to the end of the season. By the way, just so you know, I did... A few, um, I did a few transactions. I, sorry, I traded Darius Arch for Henry Ellison and Garrett Temple. I traded Frank Kaminsky and a second round pick for a first round pick in Admiral Schofield. And I traded, I traded. Aaron Baines for Yogi Ferrell. So, now our game plan's looking like this. Ty Jerome, Dev Booker. I extended it to a 12-man rotation. By the way, Kelly Uber Jr. Jr., sorry. Chick Diallo, DeAndre Ayton, Mikhail Bridges, Tyler Johnson, Norman Powell, Yogi Ferrell, Garrett Temple, Cameron Johnson, and Admiral Schofield. Javon Carter's the only guy in the lineup who's not getting any minutes. So, we have 31 wins. Right now, 
we are like two games out of the playoffs. So I'm just thinking since it's the end of the season and we're tanking right now. So I took everybody's minutes, built this lineup from scratch, and this is what I now have. Jalen LeCue, Mikhail Bridges, Norman Powell, Cameron Johnson, and DeAndre Ayton. Off the bench, D-Book, yes I had Devin Booker off the bench. Admir Admiral Schofield, Ty Jerome, Chick Diallo, and Yogi Ferrell, and Kelly Oubre, and Garrett Temple, and Tyra Johnson moving four minutes. So this, this roster is looking very nice. Very young. Not very nice, very young. So now I'm going to see how they do in their first game. going to see how they do in their first two games. Against the Bucks and against the Trailblazers. Oh, we actually won. Okay. Sorry. My nose is bugging me. Um, View box score. This game we lost against the Bucks, of course, because it's Giannis. He did Giannis things. Aiton had 24 and 11. Diva had 20. Bridges had 17. So it looks like a, a regular scoreboard, but Jalen the Q had 11 and 13. Cam Johnson had 14 and 16. And Yogi Ferrell at 10. Admiral Schofield didn't do as good. But Norman Powell. Eesh. Norman Powell I might take out of the starting lineup. And put in Ad Admiral Schofield. Damian Lillard scored 46. But um, Bridges did great. In this game. Powell did even worse in this game. Yeah. Powell. I'm going to take his minutes. 0 for 5 in this game. He had four rebounds and three assists, one turnover, plus one foul, so minus three plus minus. But anyways, Jalen LeCue did good again, 12 and 10. He's, this season, literally, why is this in chillers? They need to fix that. But, um, G League stats are 13 points, four assists, two i I'm pretty sure, yeah, his career stats in the NBA are better than his, um, G League stats because he's only played two games in the NBA. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm going to go here. Take away Powell. I'm going to. Oh, jeez. He is. He's benched. He's benched. He has to be benched. Um, 24 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to bring up his minutes and bring up his minutes. Those two both deserve minutes, but you deserve a lot less. 22, 22, 22. Oh, wait, what's... What happened to, um... What the heck? Chick Diallo. Oh, wait, Emerald Schofield was that third guy. Yeah, Chick Diallo's right here. But, um, okay. Norm Powell's not doing it. Okay, so, yeah. I'm gonna just give one to him, give one to him. Yeah, that's good. That is good. You know what? I'll give him six minutes. Because he's tired and he's cold. So, yeah, give him six minutes. Give to him. Give to him. Yeah, four minutes. So, they get about that 14. There we go. This is a very interesting lineup. I like this lineup, to be honest. It's very young. Very inexperienced. But they can still do good. They they can still be, do good. They beat the Trailblazers, but I the whole reason I created this lineup was so that we'd suck, so, um, yeah. Are we gonna suck now, or, yeah, we're starting to suck. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So, as I predicted, we ended the season terribly. 33 and 49, we lost, um, I'm pretty sure that's like, um, six, we lost 16 of our last 17 games. So, yeah. Um, Giannis MVP, of course. He just completely killed our team. Zion, Rookie of the Year. Kind of expected that. D'Angelo, six man. Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player in the of the Year again for the third time, literally. Okay. Terry Rozier, Most Improved. And Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year with the Rockets. We... 
obviously don't have anybody on the all NBA teams. Um, yeah. Except for maybe the all rookie second team. Yes, Ty Jerome. He made it. He averaged six points, five assists. I think he would have averaged more, but at the end of the year, he just. Ugh. I think though that Jalen the Q might have done better than him. But anyways, um, we didn't make the playoffs as expected. Gonna check out really quickly the standings. We were the third worst team in the West, which is kind of what I was going for. The Mavericks were the Mavericks and the Grizzlies were worse than us. And in the East, the Knicks, Cavs, and Hornets. So we're probably gonna get like the seventh or eighth pick. So yeah, that's okay, but it's not exactly the greatest. Um, going to season stats, league leaders. Here they are. Don't know why I show you guys league leaders every time. Um, player stats. D book twenty one points, of course, and four assists. DeAndre Ayton, 19 points and 11 rebounds, if we're rounding up, and 1.2 blocks. Kelly Oubre, with 11 points. Wait, where is, um, Jalen LeCue? He had better numbers than Ty, Ty Jerome. Jalen LeCue, 8 points, 7, re 7 assists, sorry, not rebounds, 1 rebound, 0.8 steals, and... Shooting 37% of the field, yeesh. But, um, yeah, he shot terrible from the field. Wait, did anybody had a, have a 50-40-90 season? Um, Norman Powell was so close to having a 50-40-90 season. He was like point three. he was just so close. He had to just get a better field goal percentage. But at the end of the year, Norman Powell... Kind of sucked, so that's why I think what I think happened. Everybody on our team did great except for Javon Carter. He barely played. He only, on the whole season, he literally attempted one three-point shot. Literally, zero points. He attempted one field goal and it was a three-point shot. He attempted it and he missed it. So that's kind of sad to be honest. Elia Kobo didn't play, and Henry Ellison didn't play. But Admiral Schofield, I think this is just a developing year for us, so it's okay if we did bad. And here in the playoffs, so far everything's going as expected. Nothing out of the ordinary. So it's Clippers versus Lakers, Rockets, um, Warriors, Grizzly. No, wait, not not Grizzlies. Bucks, Sixers, Nets, Pistons. There's Lakers, Rockets, Nets, Sixers, and it's Nets versus Rockets. And who will win? The Rockets do. It's always in the finals. Either the Clippers, the the five teams that are always in the finals are the Clippers, the Rockets, the Lakers, the Sixers, and the Nets. Sometimes the Bucks make it, but other than that. It's just those five teams. The the late wait, yeah. Lakers, Clippers, Rockets, Nets, and Sixers. It's ridiculous. But anyways, um, yeah. Going to free agency. We're not looking to make any big splashes here, except for maybe getting a really good rookie in the draft. So here. Seeing her retired, if you guys are tired. Um League meetings, just gonna, oh, no, okay, rejected, yeah, that's it, league realignment, nothing happens, draft lottery, this is what we've all been waiting for, so we have the sixth pick, wait, so we have the odds for the sixth pick, and that's it, I think, yeah, that's it, so, skip to lottery results, and we got the seventh pick. Just great. Okay. Okay. The. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. The. We just got the sixth pick. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So. 
I'm gonna see. I've done. I've worked my magic before. In trading up for the first pick, so I'm gonna see if I can do that right now. Even if we just kept with the sixth pick, wait, or the seventh pick, I mean. With if we just kept with the seventh pick, and just kept it, that'd be fine too. So the fifth pick, they want Admiral Schofield or Kelly Uber Jr. Or Jalen LeCue. Norman Powell. This one we only have to... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. So they give us Larry Nance Jr. And we get... And we give them Norman Powell and two firsts. Kind of don't want to give you that first, though. So can I give you, like, future Mavericks first? Oh, I'm definitely not doing that. So, um... Another... First round pick. Come on. Oh, wait. Top five protected. Eh, eh. You know what? Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, we got the fifth pick. Now I'm gonna see if we can get... Later on, I'm gonna try and get that other pick back. But now, first of all, I'm gonna see if I can get a higher... Oh, the second pick. No offers, that kind of makes sense. Third pick? No offers? Are you serious? This, the fourth pick. Just, we give them a first round pick, they give us a second. That's most likely the one I'm going to do right here. Because these other ones aren't so good. Or, oh, I'm definitely, yeah. Thank you. Um, That was, a that was, that worked out great. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to see if I can get the second pick. Because the Grizzlies have it. Seriously? Okay. Okay, we can get... We trade Kelly Oubre for Cody Zeller. I think I'm going to do the... Or we could just... Yeah, I'm going to do Kelly Oubre for Cody Zeller. Yeah. And I'm sorry, Kelly Oubre, but... um. It's the third pick. So, um, yeah. Second pick. The Grizzlies have it. Come on. Admiral Schofield. Ty Jerome. Jalen LeCue. Or Jordan Clarkson. And out of those guys, I'd most likely want to give a Jordan Clarkson. So now we have the second pick. And can I work my magic again and somehow get the first overall pick in the draft? There's absolutely... No way. The Magic have it. We give them extra first. I'm not giving you Devin Booker. We give them Ty Jerome and a second. We give them Cam Johnson and they give us back a second. Uh, okay. We have options. Jalen the Q and Cameron Johnson I kind of want to keep. And so, same for Ty Jerome. So, um, yeah. Thanks for the first pick now. And now, I will use that to... Wait. Yeah, I, I'm going to use that to just, um, pick a guy who I want. And right now, I honestly think the most... Oh, wait, 13 trade offers. Oh, jeez. Um, I don't know about these. I'm probably just going to third pick Jordan and Jordan Clarkson. No. They're, oh, wow. These are some nice trades, to be honest, but... Um, right... Yeah, D'Angelo Russell, of course. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to keep my pick. Team needs... We have enough point guards. Obviously, I'm not going to keep these two. And th this, these guys aren't as good, so I could get a point guard if I wanted. I could also need, I also really need, I desperately need a small forward. Small forward would probably be the way to go with this pick. Or a power forward. A small forward or power forward. So there's shooting guards, point guards, and centers. 
Uh, wait. Okay. So these three are all A minus players: Lamelo, James Wiseman, and Anthony Edwards. We got a point guard that would kind of make. If we got a center, we could change into we could change either him or DeAndre into power forward. And Anthony Edwards is kind of short, to be honest. What what is he? Um, who is he? Mitch Richmond or JJ Redick? David. Oh, yep. Welcome to the team, man. James Wiseman. Okay. Um. Now I'm just gonna see. Uh, I'm just gonna um. What's it called? I think that's. He's an 81 overall. So now I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. What? What the? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I was using left stick instead of the um, button. So. Since the end, we have no more picks in the draft. Anthony Edwards was an 80, and Lamella was an 81, so that, that that's fine. RJ Hampton's is 79. So th this this draft has a lot of really nice guys. Isaiah Mobley, I couldn't even go I could have even gotten at the seventh pick if I kept my pick, but eh, nah. I'm gonna keep. Of course, I'm signing James Wiseman. Now, team player options. Keep him, keep him, keep him. Eh, well, okay. He's 22 years old. But we have enough point guards. Don't need him. Um, so, apparently Anthony Davis probably... I don't know what happened, because usually Anthony Davis would be here. What happened to Anthony Davis? Yeah, what the heck? Um... He's still here. Wait, don't tell me he got a contract extension. He got a contract extension. He got a contract extension. Okay. But I'm just going to make sure that um the others didn't get contract extensions. Yeah, he still has a team option. And he still has a team option. So... Hopefully their team options are declined like they always are. And hopefully that works. But um first thing we have three we we are literally the the twenty sixteen Phoenix Suns. We have a good guard and then No, the twenty seventeen Phoenix Suns. We have a good guard and then three really average not average. Three okay centers because that team had I remember Jaleel Okafor, Nerlens Noel, and Joel Embiid. So, I'm going to change James Wiseman. He goes up by a lot. So, okay, I'm going to change him to a power forward. And then I'm going to just... Oh, wow. Now he's better than Devin Booker. You know what? Um, I'm going to edit him. Change him back to a center. But make his secondary position power forward. Was it was he like that before? I don't know, but um gonna change him to a powerful because I'm gonna just yeah. Edit it I wish they added the secondary position two K, please add the secondary positions into the quick edit menu. Please. Okay, um anyways, James Wiseman now in eighty four overall. He's probably go going away, but um Right now, we just need to sign a new starting small forward and a new bench small forward, maybe. And then I think we're good. These guys, I don't care where they go, honestly. Um. So remember the last video, the last rebuilding one, at least, where I had to skip a few places because the video was getting too long. Well, I have to do that again in this video. I might have made another one another part like this earlier in the video but yeah I'm just doing it again because I'm just gonna sell free agency really quickly I signed Toyon Prince signed Joe Harris traded Cody Zeller and Tyus Jones for Bruno Fernando and a first round pick and that is about it that's about all I did I didn't really do much else Nothing important, anyways. So, I tried to get a back, a better backup center, but I didn't find it. So, yeah. 
Anyways, let's go back to past Speedy. So, what do you bet back? Nope, he's not back on the team. Whatever. Um, so Booker became an 88. Aiton's now an 87. So, even though I didn't change him to a power forward, he still got a whole lot better. Okay. James Wiseman's an 84. Mikhail Bridges is 79. Joe Harris is a 79 also. I I kind of wanted to be honest, change Bridges to a small forward and change him to a shooting guard. But anyways, um, Diallo is a 76. Jerome, 73. I mean, 75. Cameron Johnson, also 75. Joe Green, 75. Jim Lee Q is 74. He went to a six, from 68 to a 74. Bruno Fernando is a 73. Schofield is a 72. So right now, I like the way our team's looking. Um, Gonna go to training camps. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. So we are here in training camps. And what's really good? Two free camps available! Thank you very much. Untapped potential, first of all. Gonna give it to a guy who has very low potential. Right now, Padrome has good potential. James Wiseman. Anybody got any Bs? E. Cameron Johnson. Okay. And Jalen the Q. Oh, man. Yeah, now it's an A+. Plus. And I was gonna give untapped potential to... Um, so jam the cute. Wait, then why is it always a okay? Whatever. Um, Cameron Johnson. Now he's an A minus. Perfect. So now I'm gonna advance and advance next season. Sign a player for a minimum. Whatever. Um, yeah. Here we go.